the Go No Go poll is underway as Cygnus is holding at the 30 meter point. The flight director, Brandon Lloyd, is receiving a number of status reports from the various systems in this operation, including the robotics arm, um, the robotics officer who is responsible for the robotic arm, and the visiting vehicle officer as well. Here on the ground, and when you are ready, we'll take your call at the end of 3.2 in 1.110. Houston Station, crew ready for Cygnus approach to capture point. Cygnus is ready to proceed to the capture point. Expect approach to resume shortly. Mission Control Houston has given a go for Cygnus to proceed through and continue on after holding at 30 meters. This go to proceed towards the capture point. Cygnus has resumed approach to the capture point. Monitor approach within 30 meters per step 7 in 1.102. Crew is primed to issue retreat if the primary range is less than 6 meters. Station copies, step seven of 1.102, crew is primed to issue retreat command for pry range less than six meters. The crew received word that we did pull a go here in Mission Control Houston to move past the 30 meter hold point and onto the capture point as the space station was flying over the country of Turkey. This go means that Cygnus can now proceed to its final approach to its capture point. Lighting conditions are critical once it reaches this point as astronauts will want to use the camera on the robotic arm to see Cygnus and operating in an orbital daytime can provide the right conditions for that. Teams here on the ground are in no hurry and many windows are built into the timeline where the spacecraft can pause for better lighting conditions. Cygnus is on the move once again now at 25 meters away from the space station with that number decreasing. Houston station on two for block Bravo report. Go ahead, Auntie. Sensation on monitor one, the light is within the corridor. The vehicle size matches the outline. The light is offset from the circle very slightly aft, and the circle is offset from the corridor very slightly starboard. 
On monitor three, the light is within the corridor. The vehicle size matches the outline. The light is centered in the circle, and the circle is offset from the center of the corridor, slightly starboard. Houston copies. If you're just joining us, this Cygnus vehicle is approaching its capture point 10 to 12 meters away from the space station. It's currently just on the outside of 20 meters away. Uh, previously, it did a brief hold at 30 meters away, and then again at the 250 meter mark. Both of these milestones were expected and planned into the timeline of today's events. Cygnus is on the move once again to its capture point, on its way to becoming attached to the space station's Earth-facing port on the Unity module. Based in Houston on two for your S1 view, we think you're going to run out of room there on your screen. If you take a look at step three in 1.110 and pan per step 3.1, you should be able to uh, continue that tracking the vehicle in monitor one. Roger. Cygnus is now nearing 15 meters away from the space station as the space station crosses over the United Arab Emirates. You're now getting live views of the camera on the Lees, or the latching end effector of the space station's robotic arm. The robotic arm will capture Cygnus today at the controls of NASA astronaut Raj Achari, with astronaut Kayla Barron with the assist. They're now in the cupola with eyes on Cygnus. Once captured, they'll hand off, hand off control of the robotic arm to the robotics officer here in Mission Control Houston.
Cygnus has now arrived at its capture point. At this point, one final go, no-go poll will be conducted here in Mission Control Houston and with the flight control team over in Dulles, Virginia. With a go from Flight Director Brandon Lloyd, Rajachari is go for capture. The poll is expected to begin here shortly. Based in Houston on two, confirm capture point hold for step eight in 1.102. Station copies, perform step eight of 1.102. Cygnus is now at its capture point, holding steady about 12 meters away from the space station. Uh, Cygnus is now at the capture point, and the go-no-go no, go pole is underway. Houston Station, capture conditions confirmed and crew ready for Cygnus capture. Stand by for capture. Standing by. Station Houston on two, go for Cygnus capture sequence, step four in 1.110, Cygnus capture. Begin monitoring the back away cue card. Station copies, go for capture sequence, back away cue card applies. After polling green across the board, Capcom Jackie Mahaffey communicated with the crew in orbit that we are go for capture. With a go for capture, you may start to see the robotic arm inch closer to the spacecraft in preparation for its upcoming grapple. The arm is expected to make contact with the capture target, followed by the closing of the snares on the Lee, or the latching end effectors. In other words, the robotics arm's hand will firmly grab its target.
We just got confirmation that the robotic arm is in motion. At the bottom of the spacecraft, you'll see a circle with a sort of pinwheel pattern on it and a black strip on top. That Cygnus is capture target there on the spacecraft service section. We're continuing to close in. The snares are at work here on the robotic arm of Canadarm2. And we have confirmed capture of Northrop Grumman's 17th commercial resupply mission at 3.44 a.m. Central Time as the space station and the SS Pierce Cellar Cygnus are flying over the Indian Ocean. We have locked and we have good send that command. 31 minutes and 32 seconds for our support. Go for stats, buffer dump. What you're looking at with a telescope, of course. Houston Station, I'm two. Cygnus capture is complete. Your go for Cygnus post capture reconfiguration. Congratulations to the MCC H and Dulles team and to Northrop Grumman and welcome aboard again to Pierce Sellers. Uh, the last time he was here was building the station and we're welcoming back this vehicle. He uh, worked at Goddard and climate science and it's a daily reminder to us with the experiments on board to help with the climate of the earth in his name and legacy and we're happy to be a part of that. And congratulations and thanks for all the support from all the teams that got this wonderful vehicle here. Houston copies and concurs with all.
at the controls of NASA astronaut Rajachari inside the cupola, Canadarm2 made contact with the Cygnus vehicle, and the snares of the arm at the end of the arm retracted, much like a hand grasping onto the handle. We have confirmation of the capture at 3.44 a.m. Central as the space station and the SS Pierce Cellars flew over the Indian Ocean. Following this good snare closure and closing of the latches, NASA astronaut Rajachari congratulated the Northrop Grumman and NASA teams, welcoming the SS Pierce Sellers and giving a nod to the late astronaut who had played such a critical role in the assembly of the space station where Chari now resides. To recap this weekend's event, Cygnus kicked off Northrop Grumman's CRS-17 mission atop an Antares rocket that launched from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility at 11.40 a.m. Central Time on Saturday, February 19th. Cygnus's day-and-a-half journey took it to the vicinity of the space station earlier this morning, while NASA astronauts Rajachari and his backup NASA astronaut Kayla Barron monitored its approach approach through the approach ellipsoid and the keep out sphere and finally to its capture point. Chari grappled the spacecraft using the robotic arm uh, but they'll be hands off the Cygnus after this moving on to other tasks aboard the orbiting lab. Control now switches over to the robotics officer who will work to berth Cygnus to the space station. The ground-based controllers will align the spacecraft in preparation of berthing it to the space station's Earth-facing port on the Unity module. This concludes our coverage of rendezvous and capture of the SS Pierce Cellars Cygnus. We'll be back on air at 5.30 a.m. Central, 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for coverage of the spacecraft's ground-controlled installation to the International Space Station. Until then, this is Mission Control Houston signing off.
Okay, three, two, one.